Namaskar. I am Anita Sharma and today we are going to learn a very interesting topic on fractions. So let's start. Today we are going to learn fraction of a collection of objects. Here are some examples of collection of objects. This is a collection of people. Here is a collection of apples. And this one is a collection of birds. Collection means group of objects. We can find fraction of a collection too. Means we can find half of 12 laddus or 3 fourth of 40 balls or 2 fifth of 10 flowers. So let us understand it by taking few examples. So let us find one third of 12 apples. So what is whole here? So the whole is a collection of 12 apples. Now what is denominator? You can see that here the denominator is 3. Means we have to divide these 12 apples in 3 equal parts. So chale karte? Yes, we have divided them into 3 parts. Now, what is numerator? Numerator, you can see it is 1. So, this 1 part is 1 third. So, how many apples are there in 1 third part of these 12 apples? There are 4 apples. So, we can say that 1 third of 12 apples is equal to 4 apples. Okay. Now, we can find very easily half of 12 apples. So half of 12 means here the denominator is 2. Means we have to divide these 12 apples into two equal parts. And numerator is 1 means one part is half. So how many apples are there in half part? There are 6 apples. So half of 12 apples is equal to 6 apples. Ek aur samajhte hai? One fourth of 12 apples. Now here the denominator is 4. Means we have to divide these 12 apples into 4 equal parts. So out of these 4, this 1 part is representing 1 fourth. So how many apples are there in 1 fourth part? There are 3 part, 3 apples. So we can say that 1 fourth of 12 apples is equal to 3 apples. Means if we divide 12 apples in 4 parts, then divide one part in 3 apples. Hai. Clear? Chaliye. There are 20 students in a class. 3 fifths of them are girls. How many girls are there in the class? So first of all, we understand what is whole here. So, a class mein 20 students hai. So, this 20 students is our whole. So, whole is 20 students. So, three fifth of them are girls. Means, humne apne whole ko kitne part mein divide kiya hai? Means, what is our denominator? So, denominator is 5. You can see here, the denominator is 5. Means, we have divided this 20 students in 5 equal parts. So, chaliye karte hai, 5 parts mein humne divide kiya. So, this one part is one fifth. So, how many students in one part? One part, there are four students. So, now, what is numerator for girls? Means in three parts, there are girls. So, numerator is three. So, ab dekhte hai, three parts mein kitni girls hai? So, this is one part, this is one fifth, this is two fifth and this is three fifth. So, three fifth part girls, kitni pa girls ho gai hamari? So, 3 fifth of 20 means 3 times 4. Aap dek sakte hai, 4 plus 4 plus 4. 3 times 4, which is equal to 12 girls. So, we can say that there are 12 girls in the class. Okay. Now, there is a short method. Bar bar toh hum itna pictorial representation se nahi karenge. लेकिन short method हमेशा derive होते हैं understanding के साथ जो अभी हमने समझी है तो जरा समझते हैं हमने क्या समझा कि number of girls 3 fifth of 20 अब हमारे mind में picture बन गई है कि हमें 20 students को 5 parts में 
इक्वल डिवाइड करना है तो मीन्स फाइव वन जार फाइव एंड फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी सो ये जो शॉर्ट मेथड है इसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग माइंड में रहनी चाहिए तो हमने फोर फोर के ग्रुप्स बनाए सो यू कैन सी दैट फोर 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 Now we have to take three groups of four. So of here means multiplication. Means three times four, which is equal to twelve. So we can say that twelve girls are there in the class. Okay. Now let us do one more task, which is very interesting. That color two seventh of the marbles red. Now first of all, you can see few marbles are there. How many marbles are there? Means first of all, we should know. What is our whole? So whole is let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and nine, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Means our whole is twenty-one marbles. Now, in twenty-one marbles, को हमें seven parts में divide करना है because here denominator is seven. टू सेवेंथ को रेड करना है सो डिनोमिनेटर इज सेवन मीन्स वी हैव टू डिवाइड दीज ट्वेंटी वन मार्बल्स इन टू सेवन पार्ट मीन्स ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन इज इक्वल टू थ्री मीन्स अब हमें थ्री थ्री के ग्रुप्स बनाने हैं थ्री थ्री के ग्रुप्स सो वी हैव टू मेक ग्रुप्स ऑफ थ्री तो चलिए बनाते हैं वी हैव टू अरेंज दैम इन ग्रुप्स ऑफ थ्री सो दिस इज वन ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री टू ग्रुप्स ऑफ थ्री थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ थ्री Four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three, and seven groups of three. So means we have arranged these twenty-one marbles in seven equal parts. So now what is denominator? We have to make two groups red. So चलिए करते हैं. This is one seventh, and this is two seventh. Means हमें six marbles को red करना पड़ेगा. लेकिन अब हमने जो इतनी अंडरस्टैंडिंग से समझा है वी कैन फाइंड आउट दिस आंसर इन शॉर्ट वे आल्सो। हाउ द शॉर्ट मेथड से टू सेवेंथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन लेकिन हमारी अंडरस्टैंडिंग माइंड में चलनी चाहिए कि हमें ट्वेंटी वन को सेवन पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करना है तो सेवन वन जार सेवन एंड सेवन थ्री जार ट्वेंटी वन मीन्स थ्री थ्री के ग्रुप्स बनाने हैं तो थ्री थ्री के सेवन ग्रुप्स बनेंगे सो so नाउ टू ग्रुप्स ऑफ थ्री हमें रेड करने थे तो मीन्स टू टाइम्स थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो हम सिक्स मार्बल्स को रेड करेंगे क्लियर चलिए आगे समझते हैं एक और टास्क कि वॉट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द बटर बटरफ्लाईज आर रेड इन कलर यू कैन सी फ्यू बटरफ्लाईज हियर सो ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट इज होल सो होल इज हियर हाउ मेनी बटरफ्लाईज आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स Six and six means eighteen. So eighteen butterflies is our whole. So now we have to tell you that the red butterflies are. Its fraction is what? Number is not asked. Number we can say very easily. So if we have to represent the fraction, then we should know what is denominator and what is numerator. So first we will see that in how many parts we have divided these eighteen butterflies. Means total number of groups. They are three. Now means denominator is three. Three parts में हमने divide किया है. Now number of groups of red butterflies. कितने groups red butterflies के हैं? You can see there are two. Means हमारा considered part means numerator of red butterflies is two. So now we know the numerator and we know the denominator. So fraction for the red butterflies is out of three two means two third. so we can say that two third of the butterflies are red in color so how much is two third of 18 it is 12 6 and 6 ek part mein 6 two parts mein 12 ho gaye clear to chaliye now it is time to calculate now here are 32 laddus in the box now if i say you that distribute half of these laddus among your friends तो हाउ मेनी लड्डू यू विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट नाउ पिक्चर इज इन योर माइंड वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू डिवाइड थर्टी टू इंटू टू पार्ट सो टू वन जार टू एंड टू सिक्सटीन जार थर्टी टू एंड यू हैव टू टेक 
मतलब 16, 16 के दो ग्रुप बनेंगे एंड यू हैव टू टेक ओनली वन सेट ऑफ 16 विच इज इक्वल टू 16 तो आप 16 लड्डू अपने फ्रेंड्स में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर दोगे नाउ यू कैन सी व्हेन आई हैव डिवाइडेड इट इनटू टू पार्ट्स सो 16 एंड 16 के दो ग्रुप बने ओके नाउ इफ आई से डिस्ट्रीब्यूट थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ दीज लड्डू अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स so now you have to distribute uh, you have to divide these 32 laddus in four equal parts so me jab hum shortcut method se bhi kar rahe hain to understanding hamare mind mein chalni chahiye matlab hame four parts mein divide karna hai to four ones are four and four eights are 32 means hum eight eight ke group banayenge to ab hame lene hain three groups of eight means three times eight Which is equal to twenty-four means you will distribute twenty-four laddus among your friends. Now you can see here. Now I have divided these laddus in four parts. So here are eight, 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 and you are giving three parts. So eight three is twenty-four. एक बार और समझते हैं. Now I am saying distribute five eight of these laddus among your friends. Now. अब हमारी अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या कह रही है हमारे माइंड में पिक्चर चल रही है साइड बाय साइड दैट वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस 32 लड्डूस इनटू एट पार्ट्स सो एट वन आर एट एंड एट फोर आर थर्टी टू मीन्स अब हमें फोर फोर के ग्रुप्स बनाने पड़ेंगे फोर 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 देन फोर 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 नाउ फाइव टाइम्स फोर Five times four is equal to twenty. You will distribute twenty laddus among your friends. Now you can see here. Now I have divided these laddu in eight parts. So now there are in uh, there are the groups of four four. So in five parts there will be five fours are twenty laddus. So I hope you understood very well. So it's very interesting. So and uh, to just strengthen this concept, you can do one thing. You just go to your mama's kitchen. Mama ki kitchen se thode rajma lije, kuch katoris lije. Suppose apne twenty four rajma liye, and now put them into three equally in three katoris. Then you can find out how much is one third of twenty four, two third of twenty four. or you can uh, you know uh, divide these 24 uh, rajmas in four katoris then you can find out 1/4 of 24 2/4 of 24 3/4 of 24 so you will really enjoy and you will uh, understand very deeply so watch this video again and again and do the activity which i i have just explained you and do lots of practice so in my next video i will explain you how to represent fractions on number line so thank you for watching the video